Bob Haney, WNS-TV, along with Rob Long here. We're with uh, Coach Jimmy Pass. Winning his coach in the area, NCAA team. Loyola College, <laughs> soon to be Loyola University, if I'm not mistaken. Celebrating 100 years of basketball excitement. Losing Gerald Brown, Amari Israel, Hassan Fafana, Michael Tuck, among others. Moving forward with the program still. So how's this offseason been for you? Uh, you're getting closer every year to getting to that elusive goal of winning the MAC. Are you any closer this year? Yeah, I mean, I think we're still heading in the right direction. You know, Jamal Barney, who went to Southwestern High School, comes back to Baltimore from Providence. He's just not as advanced as Gerald, but he could be a better player because we'll have him for three years. Ryan Rudolph is back, who was Rookie of the Year. But the most important person we have is Marquis Sullivan, the grandson of Roy Hilton of the Colts. Uh, he's already broke the record for three-pointers as a junior. You know, he's, in three years, he's got more three-pointers than anybody. So this is his time. He was Rudy Gay's teammate at Spalding, and I, he has a good, good place in my heart because he was the first kid that came to us to change the program. So you got Marquis Sullivan, and in our league, it's a guard league. So if guards get hot, you can do it. You know, we had good big men last year, but it didn't translate into wins in the league as much. So we're excited. You got Isaac Reed, and Juwan Ray Redshirt, but we're really excited about this kid, Shane Walker, who transferred from the University of Maryland. Now he will have to sit out, but we're, we're, we're back building. It's kind of a three-year plan, I think, when you're a mid-major. You know, we had the big three-year plan with Gerald and them. And 19 wins was great. I'm really proud we're going to miss Gerald. This is a new plan. Whether it's this year, next year, or the year after, I think we're back headed in the right direction. One of these days we'll get over the hump, but I'm just happy to get to be on a radio show every Tuesday with you. I'm excited about that, too. <laughs> whether it's at noon, 11, 1, whatever I show up. there, it's always worth it. Rob Long, WNSTV, you know, you're talking about uh, a turning point of your program with getting a local player. Some out there will say basketball players are basketball players. Why is it so important for you to be able to recruit and bring in the local talent? You know, I just think Baltimore kids are better. They've always had a special place. I was with, a, I was at a function with Sam Cassell and then Denzel Washington, and then Los Angeles this August. And I said, another Baltimore winner. And Denzel Washington said, "You're from Baltimore." And Sam Cassell said, "Yeah." And I said, "Why do you think he wins so much?" And he said, "And this is Denzel's from New York and LA. He knew the respect Baltimore players had. Seriously, he was like, yeah. I'm like, of course." Um, I think they bring a lot of people to the games. Gerald Brown brought a lot of his neighborhood. He brought a lot of the west side to the games, which is really good for Loyola because it gives them a little, a little different look than they're used to. I just think Baltimore kids, A, are good players. They got a lot of pride, and they're all tough kids. I, like I said, I don't know if Gerald Brown liked to win. I just know he hated to lose. Right. And that's a, that's a difference than liking to win. So, you got to keep getting balls for kids. Coach, good luck to you. Appreciate Thanks, it. my man. Thanks to you, too. You Thank still got back in the house. And when's he on, Bob? He's on Tuesdays whenever he shows up. Tuesday at 11 a.m. this year. I'm, I'm early. Nice tie, too. Big tie. Very stylish. He signed day 98.